I think, you know, the interesting thing, just, just being really honest, is that, you know, I, I feel so grateful to be able to talk about Made in the Manor and Gang Signs and Prayers, Prayer and Psychodrama, but there's been a few records that I've made that, that haven't done so well, that were maybe great learning experiences or where maybe the artists weren't ready in the same way as the artists that I mentioned were, or mm. for whatever reason, me not being good enough. You know, so yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting. One. I'm not sure that it that it leads necessarily directly to commercial success, right. but I think it it definitely will lead to success. It depends how you define success, yeah, of but course, in yeah, terms yeah. of expression and in terms of terms of freedom and and creative excellence, I would and, say that and, that's and how you feel about it as well. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what we were chasing with with all three records. I mean, as mm. As time went on, I could see the pressure was building because there was obviously so much success associated with with Storms even before he he came in to start yeah. working on the record. So that pressure was something we we had to actively try and manage. Manage, yeah. and the same with Dave. But with Kane, my career had sort of hit a bit of a full mm. stop, and I wasn't sure what to do next. And I always say this to people because I think it's it's really good for people to hear this but when we were making Made in the Manor we were just two friends that wanted to make amazing music Kane wanted to make a very <coughs> introspective record more introspective than anything he'd ever done and and without sounding crass a lot of the record companies came down and were not wanting to sign him or what did want to sign him but maybe just yeah. couldn't get the authorization no, I, think, I think there's a really um, interesting dynamic when it comes to Kano um, I feel like the Made in the Manor album was one of very few in recent times of that genre to sort of constantly grow with time. Um, it might, I mean, it obviously had a, a massive impact when it landed, but there was something a bit more, maybe spiritual is the wrong word, but there was something something there about that album and maybe about Kano as, 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 as an individual as well. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. I sort of feel like timing is everything as well with records. And I think that, that that record came like way it's hard to believe but way before this this new wave of yeah uk rap here yeah, yeah and i think that you know i'm always at pains to to credit kane with with just you know whether it was going to be successful or not he was going to make that great album and i think that that opened the door because of the way that he expressed himself on that record i i, I really think it opened the door for artists like stormzy and dave and jay huss to to come through in terms of like being introspective and being being able to be heartfelt on on bars so yeah 